Who are you? Is it dependent on your weight scales? Is it dependent on your degree or your certificate or your diploma? Is it dependent on the digits on your paycheck? Who are you? Is it dependent on how good you look and how your biceps and triceps and all other abs stick out when you work out four times a week or five times a week, three hours a day? Who are you? It's a very, very important question. The problem with most people is they don't know who they are. Just today I heard a, a, a person who said I was trying to invite my coworker to church and my coworker, you know, relationship that they were in broke out. The person that they've been married to um, decided to live a homosexual lifestyle and, and this woman says, I don't know who I am. You know, my sarcastic response was, check your drive license. You will see your name. Did you forget your name? But people don't mean that. I don't know who I am now. Because my success, my identity was placed in marriage and it collapsed. And whole my who I am collapsed with it. I placed all of my chips into this basket, all of my eggs into this basket and this basket had a bottom and all of my eggs cracked and they fell and I don't know who I am. It is dangerous to put who you are in the hands of a boyfriend, in the hands of a boss, in the hands even of your kids, in the hands of your parents, in the hands of your college or in the hands of your mirror place who you are in the hands that fashioned you in the hands that gave itself to be pierced for your redemption and he will never ever disappoint you and when you gain 10 extra pounds you will still be confident and then you lose them and when you lose a job you will cry a tear but you will get over it and you'll get a better job and when something collapses and you can't fix a relationship, listen, you will shake it off and move on. Why? Because on a solid rock, my foundation stands. Not on a sinking sand. Not on the opinions of people. Not on the mirror that I see. Not on the salary from my boss. Not on the opinions of people, but on a God who never changes. He's yesterday, today, and forever the same. Place who you are in His hands. And He never changes. And you will stand through the storms of life. Can somebody say amen? Who are you?